What's going on everybody? C4 here and welcome to episode 17 of the College Football Series. As part of the Connected Franchise Universe, this is the penultimate episode. The final to the finale. The final episode before the finale, I guess. Uh, we're doing, we have Bowl Week here. I was originally going to make an episode for Bowl Week and then doing the championship. I figured it's just easier to do it all in one and we'll do a recap. Uh, so looking at some of the previews, our number 24 ranked Florida Gators are taking on K-State in the Cotton Bowl. Uh, let's really just look at the bowls that, you know, in my opinion, matter. Uh, no, no, no slights at any of these other bowls. We'll go through it so you can see. The Chick-fil-A Bowl looks pretty solid. Um, the Rose Bowl will feature number 11 Ohio State going up against number 3 ranked Florida State. We got the Fiesta Bowl, which oftentimes, in my opinion, has been low-key. I mean, the best football game I've ever watched was Boise State, Oklahoma, Fiesta Bowl. We have number 14, West Virginia, and Will Greer going up against number 13, Wyoming, and Josh Allen in a battle of very solid co uh, quarterbacks. Sugar Bowl, uh, the 11-2 Mississippi State. I have no idea what their name is. Hale State going up against the number 6 ranked 11-2 Washington Huskies. The Orange Bulls, number seven, Clemson, going up against number four, Louisville, in a battle of two top ACC teams. But the championship game, the game you're going to see highlights from in the national championship, 10 and two, Alabama. Of course, Alabama had that shaky start. You figure there's no way in hell a two-loss Alabama team would find their way into the national championship, going up against the 11 and two USC Trojans, who are number one ranked. Because I, I actually don't like either one of these teams, but I hate Alabama more. And this is my franchise. We'll be controlling USC and Sam Darnold as Sam Darnold looks to make that final push to see if maybe a big-time performance in the championship game could propel him past Heisman Trophy winning Josh Allen and Wyoming. So, that being said, we're going to flash here to Monday, January 6th. I don't know what year, 2014. Uh, not really. And we're going to see. We'll pop into this game. And when we get back, we'll do a full bull recap. And that will set up next week's episode 18, which will be a full draft preview to get ready uh, for the draft for our Philadelphia Eagles in our Madden 18 Connected Franchise Mode. All right, quickly look at the preview between the teams. Looking at Alabama. Pretty good in the offense. I would like to say, I mean, outside of the rushing numbers, that defense is kind of underwhelming, if you will. Based off of Alabama in years past, but still a very solid team. Look at USC, who we are controlling offensively. First in the nation for total yards. Third in passing. Six in points. On the defensive side of things, slight edge. Uh, I mean, rushing yards are pretty bad. Uh, but a slight edge in uh, the total in uh, passing yards, which is, you know, I, I don't think they're going to run all over us. But we'll have to wait and see with me controlling. Look at the top players here for our USC Trojans. we got 99 overall, Sam Darnold. we got a very talented running back, Ronald Jones the second. Definitely keep an eye on him for our Philadelphia Eagles connected franchise mode. Deontay Burnett, very talented wide receiver as well. Look at what Alabama brings to the table. We have Calvin Ridley, who may be the first wide receiver selected in the upcoming draft. We have Minka Fitzpatrick, talented defensive back. No one's really sure if he's going to play corner or safety at the next level, but another first-round prospect. And then Bo Scarborough, the monster. He's an absolute tank. No one really knows what his draft grade is going to be. He's going to be a first-round back, second, third round, somewhere around then. It's all going to kind of fall on his combine. But at least for this upcoming game, where our USC Trojans defense has struggled against the run, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. That being said, Bo Let's pop into this game and see what happens. All right, here we go. Our first big play here in this. It's been an absolute dogfight. Alabama's defense just stunting our offense. So it's fourth and one. I think it's time to go for it. We got Ron Jones, one of the best backs in the country. Look at that. Five-yard rush. Ain't got to worry about it. But now it's time to put a full six points up on the scoreboard and not a three. So let's continue to try to throw it. I really like our tight end. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. Mator baby, Mator baby, Adam Cole baby. Who wants this? X in the end zone. Uh, no, no feet in here. But anytime you throw against Alabama, you're man. They got the best secondary almost every year in college football. What do you got? Minka Fitzpatrick, Anthony Everett, Tony Brown, Eddie. Uh, not Eddie Jackson. The other guy. It might be. Is it Eddie Jackson? Eddie Jackson went to the Bears. They have another safety. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But he's fairly soft. Let's get Ron Jones. Gets the edge. And he gets it for the 13-yard touchdown run. Don't keep your eye on Ron Jones. Especially in particular to Philadelphia Eagles. Because we may miss out on the Geises and Saquon Barkley's. And then we have to be looking at some of these Pac-12 backs. Miles Gaskin, Royce Freeman, and Ronald Jones as the key names to perhaps bring in. That's a big-time touchdown right there. All right, here we are. Pick it up. 3-2. 7-7 ball game. We're in field goal range, but we want to put out full seven. We don't want to settle for a field goal here against Alabama. 
So we're going to air it out to Pittman Jr. I don't, is that Latroy? I have no idea who Pittman Jr. is. Michael Pittman Jr. Well, I assume Michael Pittman Sr. is very proud that his seed was able to produce that kind of play against an Alabama defense. Beautiful touchdown pass to Matthew San Darnold. That's a 14-7. Should be good going to half with that score. Oh, here we are picking it up. Now tied at 21 apiece. A lot of stuff happened with the sim. We're picking up third and nine. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We're scroll. We're rambling. We're scrambling. And he's throwing it in double coverage. That was terrible. It should have been picked off. And Ronnie Harrison, there you go. That's the safety I was thinking of. Not Eddie Jackson. So it's fourth and nine. Let's see us put this field goal on. Let's go. Best field goal kicker on YouTube and Madden. Can we replicate that form here in NCAA? I think so. Beautiful kick. Right through the uprights, 24-21 lead here in the fourth quarter. Oh, the screen pass! Oh, come on, let's go, Ronald Jones! Wow, let's go! 63 yards on the screen pass to get the go-ahead touchdown with 2.08 left in the fourth quarter. I thought that was going to be some Chip Kelly nonsense. Like, why? It was third and long. Why are you throwing behind the sticks that far? We're going with Ron Jones. The run game has struggled. We have not been able to establish any sort of dominance at the line of scrimmage. But then you're able to hit that type of play on the screen pass as he throws 29 through the end zone. What a play, Ronald Jones. All right, we're going to pick this up here for the final drive. Alabama has been able to run at will on our team. So now they got the go-ahead touchdown. 35-31. We're down four with 42 seconds remaining. You know, we were going to win and lose on Sam Darnold's arm as Burnett just, for some reason, stops. Doesn't want to get the first down. Fourth and one. Do we play it safe, get the first down. I mean, we have to go down. It's saying run it. We'll try to run it. Running has not worked whatsoever. I, I have... I, how, how do we audible in this? Oh, I want to audible. Is that a run? Oh, no, we audible to a run. I don't want that. What's this? See? We're going to run it. I guess we're going to run it. Rod Jones. Hey, there we go, Rod Jones. Okay. I hate... That's one thing about NCAA. That's the one thing I didn't like. Is that they made the audible thing. It's kind of like mystery. It's kind of hidden. I can't see what play... You're supposed to know off memory. And where I, when I'm so back and forth between this game and Madden, I don't have anything down by memory. Let alone, like, all the various teams I play with. So, you know, I'm not liking any of these play calls. These are all, like, medium play calls. Not, we need to get a touchdown. That's a bad throw. As Anthony Everett picks us off, I mean, what do you do? You can't beat Bama. You can only try and stop them in these types of scenarios. Those are, I mean, I'm going to throw down the play. That was a dumb play. I don't know why the coach is telling me to call those plays. None of those are going downfield. We need it more than a field goal. It was, those were like, you got to get in field goal range type play calls. And they weren't that. What do we got here? Play of the game. Sack. Corner. Oh, look. Doesn't matter. Madden. NCAA. You bring the corner blitz, you get a full old C4. I'm getting too old for this. So there you go. You have your national champion, Alabama. Very surprising. Can't believe that upstart program was able to go on the run that they did to win their title. As Sam Darnold has some explain to do, you might say, after this game. That being said, guys, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to go look at the rest of the bowl games. And then that should end up here, episode 17. If you get ready for a big episode 18, which will be the finale, where we go through uh, and prep for the upcoming draft. All right, so recapping the bull season, our Florida Gators fell to K-State 2016. Well, I think it, you know, pretty unrealistic, if you have to be honest with you. Uh, we got Stanford winning the Mako Bowl. We got Indiana beating UMass for the Little Caesar Bowl. Holiday Bowl champions are the Oregon Ducks. In the Military Bowl, Navy over Western Michigan. In the Care Independence Bowl, went to Georgia Tech over Arkansas State. North Carolina got the Russell Athletic Bowl. Alamo Bowl was Oklahoma versus UCLA in a battle of two really good quarterbacks in Baker Mayfield and Josh Rosen. We got Oklahoma State winning the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. Virginia Tech winning the Sun Bowl. NC State winning the Liberty Bowl. Miami winning the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Over LSU 27-17. We got Mizzou winning the Outback Bowl. Georgia winning the Capital One Bowl. We got the Rose Bowl, which was close. We saw Florida State, number two Florida State, beating number 11 Ohio State 26-21. And the Fiesta Bowl, Josh 
Allen Heisman Trophy winner got himself another trophy to lay claim as he gets ready for a big, big draft. 30 to 23 over the West Virginia Mountaineers. We got Washington over Mississippi State in the All-State Sugar Bowl. In the Orange Bowl, it was Clemson over Louisville. That Clemson defense stopped Mr. Lamar Jackson once again. And then the game that you saw, Alabama 35, USC 31 in the BCS National Championship. Looking at that, let's take a look at the Players Week. Players that may have helped their stock before we kind of get our draft pulls, our draft rankings in order. So kind of stings that you see that right there. That the player of the week on defense is Anthony Everett from Alabama who had three tackles, a sack, and a pick against us. And the offensive player with DeVoe Scarborough won six carries, 145 yards, and two touchdowns. That's just that's just not fair. Is that the only one they're going to talk about? Maybe that's why. We just got the... Hey, no, that's, what is this? Pac-12? Oh, they're just showing the play, our best player. So look, show, showing some love to Ronald Jones who had 130 yards and a touchdown. Uh, so nothing too much, like I said. Good performance from Alabama. Very surprising that they were actually able to win. Uh, that being said, guys, that will do it for episode 17 here of the College Football Series. As I said, episode 18 should be coming out in the next couple days. Will be an absolute primer. Full on, all on primer to see what players are actually graduating. Maybe seeing some surprises that want to return. And who are the Philadelphia Eagles going to go after with their first round pick in the 2018 draft? That's for another one. So if this is your first time stopping by. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Until next time, C4 saying peace out.